Hi friends, in the previous video, we have seen the add event listener and the remove event listener. Now I will show you one of the important uh, concept event bubbling. So how, how we can stop the propagation of the events. So I will, I will explain you in this video. Let's see, uh, let's take the HTML part. I will uh, close this console and the JavaScript. Okay, now let's think we have one div. and uh, i will write the style so i will give the width of uh, 100 pixel height of 100 pixel let's assume and a background color of uh, red or something like that okay we got one square with the background color of red red and now what i will do is i will take another div inside that inside this div and I will view this style as width 40 pixel and height 40 pixel. Oh, sorry, 40 pixel and background color of blue or something like this. Okay, now I have two views. Uh, one is uh, what we can say is instead of writing here, we can say. Um, we can take this one as id outer okay now this one as id as inner let's assume these are the two divs okay these are the two divs what i am having is one is outer div and another one is inner, inner div inner div is nothing but what we can say is it is it is present inside the outer div only now what i will try to do is now i will take the javascript i will remove this all the code now i will take the when I click on this inner view, I want to show the output something like clicked on inner view or anything. Okay. What I will take where inner is equal to document dot query selector document dot query selector of hash inner. I will take it as inner. Okay. I will close this. I will remove this HTML. Okay. Inner. I, I took the inner. Now what I will do, I will take one functioner, function as inner listener or anything. What I will do is console.log inner click. Okay, we have the method. Now what I will do, inner dot add event listener. Same thing, wow, what we have did in the previous video. So same thing we will be doing, click and I will do inner listener. So I added the function for this one. Now I will try to run the JS for this one. So now if I run here, when I click inside this one, we got that one as inner click. Now when I try to click on the outside of this view, so there is no event. So we why because we have written only the event listener for the inner view only. So we have not written anything for the outer view. Now what I will try to do is now I will take another one as where outer i will take the same thing and i will paste it here and i will take the outer view now what i will try to do i will take another function i i will write as outer outer listener now same thing outer click i will write the same event listener what we can do is outer dot add event listener clicked i will write the outer listener okay now what i will try to do is now when we try to check the output now i clicked on the outer yeah okay we got the outer clicked so this one is got executed this is not a problem now when i try to click on the e inner inner thing but we are getting right now two events are getting fired inner clicked and outer clicked here I am clicking on the inner but outer click is also firing what is the reason behind this one the reason is nothing but the inner div is is present in, inside the outer div only that means if you are clicking on the inner div means explicitly you are you are clicking on the outer div only why because the out, inside the outer div only inner div is present so that is the reason when you when you are clicking on inner click 
that is nothing but you are uh, explicitly clicking on the outer click outer outer div also why because inner 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 div is already present in the outer div that is the reason both the events are firing so in order to stop this type of events thing what we can do so this this type of thing is called as event bubbling actually so what it will do is if you click on this one inner div it will propagate through the it will propagate to the outer outer layer to the parent layer it will propagate to the parent layer until and unless no parent is present it will it will go on propagating that one that means bubbling it will go on bubbling that one if you want to remove this one you want to remove this uh, propagation how we can do is so so in this event listener for this event listener what it will do is this event listener will pass an uh, an argument defaultly event so this event is nothing but what we can say is the object the object of the event listener what it will be having all the properties uh, present for that uh, event listener it will pass all the event as an object so there for each uh, for each type of event you will be having different types of properties for click event you will be having separate and mouse event you will be having their respective properties so it will pass for any event listener it will pass an event object as an argument to the function now in this event property you will be having so if i inner listener you can write event dot stop propagation you can use stop propagation okay so you can use stop propagation now if you try to check the output we click here you will be getting only the inner click only if you click on outer click you can see you can, you can see the outer click is firing and inner click is firing so this is how we can stop the propagation of the div we can stop the propagation of the div we preventing going top bubbling top to the top now now we can also check whether the event is propagating top or not we can also check the those type of scenarios also how we can check is we can directly use this one console.log we can use here event.bubbles okay so if you run with js this one if you click here you will be able to get see true option okay so true option means that is that, that is nothing but it is bubbling to the parent element so the event is bubbling to the parent elements if the parent element is having any click event or anything it will fire that click event also in order to stop that bubbling of that uh, uh, bubbling of that click event listener or any event listener you can use event dot stop propagation okay so if you like this video please subscribe to my channel thank you